sorry. Please don't dawdle, Alice. We're very late indeed. You've gone quite mangy, Cat. But your grin's a comfort. And you've picked up a bit of an attitude. Still curious and willing to learn, I hope. Wonderland's become quite strange. I always want to find her way. As knowing where you're going is preferable to being lost, ask. Rabbit knows a thing or two, and I myself don't need a weather vane to tell which way the wind blows. Let your need guide your behavior. Suppress your instinct to lead. Pursue, Rabbit. Um... I was looking it up. Yeah, it does look like American Mickey's Alice. This one was re-released 11 years later on the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. Um, there was also... I can go into a lot of it if I ended up researching it, but basically, and I know a lot of people talk very positively about like uh, this game and everything else, American Mickey, from my memory, is not very successful in a lot of stuff he ends up doing. This is one of the few successful things he's done. He actually had a quite, there was originally an attempt to make a film adaptation of this game that ended up being stuck in limbo for fucking forever. Sarah Michelle Gellar was reportedly supposed to have had the rights at one point after it had bounced between multiple movie studios and wasn't it didn't succeed then american mickey himself ended up picking up the rights to the movie and then he was trying to pick up the rights to an animated feature held a kickstarter in order to gain garner money for it and it, then it just sat in limbo after he ended up collecting the money he also was supposed to have been working on a game that was based on the wizard of oz i believe he was calling it american mickey's oz which sat in development for fucking forever and ended up never being released anywhere. Madness Return was brought out by EA and published by EA, but using him as the director to uh, create a sequel at many, many, many years afterwards. And he's supposed to be working on a third one yet, but other than basic concept art for Alice, there's nothing. I don't consider him a very successful individual. Also, he's never really worked for many companies and he attaches his name to everything, which makes me wonder 
Is he a little full of himself, or is he just trying to create a brand? I don't know. I have no idea. I do know that I like the aesthetic of Alice of, of the Alice games. Only really knowing this one and only seeing some artwork from Out Madness Returns not having played it beforehand. Um, I don't know. I'll probably end up playing Madness Returns on stream at some point. Our land is destroyed. Our spirit crushed. Reminds me of the asylum. Is there no joy here? Slavery and happiness do not dwell in the same house. When the path is problematical, consider a leap of faith. Ride the wind. Not very successful, not someone to rely on. I mean, I would love to have seen more stuff come from him. I don't know why things sit in limbo for so long with him and why things just didn't go anywhere. I think he might just be reaching too high. I don't know. Stir up no trouble, stranger. The Red Queen's agents are ruthless. I'm not afraid of her or her creatures. Never was, really. You should stand up to them. Defiance is useless. While the Queen reigns, only death can release us from this misery. Or her death, I suppose. Meta-essence is the life force of Wonderland. That of your enemies is especially potent. Collect what you can. Use it wisely. See, a lot of people will sit there and say Madness Returns is a good game. I'd have to try it. I just remember when it was released. It did not get the greatest reviews. And a part of it was because they said that the camera angles to the platforming did not match up well enough upon release to the point where you would die from really stupid angles not seeing a cliff that was in front of you. I've seen some video of some of it played, not enough to actually have anything spoiled for me, but I have seen that before, and no one seems to ever recognize it or bring it out. This game is well done and it has some great visuals, especially for the time period that it was released in. The visuals were fantastic. Um, if I remember on the left side... Pulling out the instructions again because I have that all sitting in front of me. Uh, I have ten different weapons, dear god. I don't know if the dead time watch counts as a weapon though. I remember that just pauses time. Left side is my level of my sanity. The weapon when I get it will be in the bottom left. Strength of will is on my right hand side. And it's the stronger her will is, the more powerful her toys. I like how they call them toys and her first thing is a, is a knife. There it is. Corporal blade. Your knife is necessary, but not sufficient. Always collect what's useful. Reject only your ignorance, and you may survive. The Other Lands was meant to be the film, and the Asylum meant to be the third. I don't think they ever fleshed anything out with the movies. There was at least two or three different scripts that were bounced around. They had a fully fleshed out script at one point, and it was never accepted by Everyone anyone. seems completely dejected. Are things really as bad as all that? The truth would reduce you to a blubbering baby. Are you the savior Rabbit has been telling us about all this time? I shouldn't think so. I'm a person. And just now, I wish to get very small. About this big. Calls for serious twisting. You'll need to go sideways, not forward. If I knew how, I'd go sideways myself. Not twisted, small. I wish to become about this big. The fortress of doors hold such secrets. But it will take more than a wish to get inside. Doors have locks. Locks need keys, which you don't have. Let's hope the doors are open. And if not, there may be more than one way to skin a cat, if you'll pardon the expression. Most unpleasant metaphor. Please avoid it in future. <laughs> I do like the dialogue in this. I forgot how well done it was. I can throw this, can't I? Yes. Oh, and it takes a while for it to come back. That's right. Shit. There we go. 
I completely forgot that it takes a while to get, like, your knife back. So, primary attack is a slash, secondary is a throw, and then you have to wait for the knife to basically grow back in her hands in a bit. But yeah, this, uh, I remember bouncing around. Movement wasn't as good as I wanted it to be in this game, and I think it was one of my problems when I played it. Um, she feels very floaty. Um, I believe that was one of the complaints at one point. I don't remember what people have said Only about it. Only a few that. find the way. Some don't recognize it when they do. Some don't ever want to. Oh yeah, no, this game takes a dark, a dark, uh, twist. It, it is very gory. Um, you can summon, if you ever get stuck in the game, you can summon the Cheshire Cat by pressing C. Every adventure requires a first step. Try to put true even here. And he'll basically tell you, I don't know if I really need the... God damn it. Yeah, she's... she's her movements are a little wonky. But as far as uh, liking older games and such, if you do like older games, we've been focusing on doing as many of the retro games as possible. I am, for all, by most intents and purposes, by most people's standards, relatively old-ish and grew up with it. Grow up is a strong term. I was already in my 20s at the point when this came out. Rabbit told us a champion would come. Are you that champion? Perhaps. Can you get me inside the Fortress of Doors? Oh, no. I wouldn't dare. Since the upheaval, we've all become gutless halfwits. I can barely risk crossing the road. But make your way to the mines, the deepest pit. There's one wiser and braver than myself who might help. He still lives free. I mean, I understand the concept with Alice is supposed to be lighter. And it kind of Every fits her. Every adventure requires a first step. Try to put true even here. I want this. I don't remember what that's for. I think that's healing, but... Um, there is no getting her to float unless there's an air current. Yeah, you don't have any weight when you control her. It definitely makes it difficult. I do remember that being a thing when I played it in the beginning. You get used to it. I do remember getting used to it. It's just... She needed a little bit more weight. As good as step letters to those who know how to use them. Ah, oh, fucking hell. That's a portal to go through. I mean, there's 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 positives and negatives to the game. There's a lot of positives to it, and I will sit there and say that overall my, my impression with this when I had played it back in the day is that it is a good game. It's definitely worth playing. Why do you pursue me to this deserted place? To benefit from your wisdom. Even blurred vision is valued by the blind. If I were clever, would I cower in this slag heap? I'm not wise, girl. I've just grown old. I wish to get very small, no bigger than a mouse. Do you know how I might do that? Only that? Oh, yes. I could manage that. For a price. I have nothing of value. You have nerve and your health. Mine are nearly gone. I've seen too much suffering. And I smoke too much, you see. What must I do? In the card guard's compound, a particularly rough diamond holds a key. Retrieve it. I will repay the favor. Um, is there any control mid jump? A little bit, but not really. It's not worth it. The only thing I would sit there and say if you need accurate jumping is you see the footprints right there? That's what those are. If wherever I place them, if she can't see it, she can't jump that far. But if wherever I place them, if I just press without anything else, the jump button, that's where she's going to land. This game came out, you're only 11 and it freaks you out. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a darker game. It would definitely freak certain people out. I know that. I do remember there being things that are hidden around corners. Like, pay attention, take a look at things. Kind of thing. Yeah, because you can jump from there to there to... Yeah, okay. But 
But I do remember when I got it, I was playing it in tandem with another friend. He was playing it on his home computer. I was playing it on mine. Um, and we were doing basic comparisons as we were playing them. Um, oh, fuck. I forget. I think I just stand here and not worry about anything. Because I don't think I can do anything. This is like just a segment that you sit on. Yeah, because you can't get her to move at all and you can't move the camera. Dark Trans reminds me of a set of point and click flash games. Based on Alice in Wonderland. There was a few different things based on Alice in Wonderland from what I remember. This is one of the most iconic ones, I know that. Yeah, I don't need that. Um. Oh, the cards! 52 pickup is a staple of juvenile humor, but when the deck slices and dices, it's no laughing matter. these were for. These cards are so thin, how do they have that much blood? <laughs> because blood. I don't know. Go. Oh. Open. Can't open it. Did I? Oh, there it is. Whatever that was. Agarim! 26 months! Wow! Thank you for the resub! Hi! Oh god. Why is he so far? There we go. Really? Okay, so Will is, um... I don't remember how to climb up these, I just remember how to swing. Fucking hell. Textures remind you of Zen and Half-Life, I don't even know what that is. I never played much of Half-Life, so I don't really understand a lot of the references to it. Checking the instructions for... Action gameplay, climb down vines, F. I'm sorry, what? Alright, so climb up vines. Jump, swim up, jump off vines, space bar. Okay, it's nice to know that you can climb down with F. Is your R to climb up? Wow. Nice room. Okay. Uh, Quinn and L, thank you for the follow. Oh, god damn it. Fucking hell. Really? Fucking hell. Uh, 
Um, I don't think I'm going to get up there. Not easily. I could if I had swung from that one. Do you remember the controls being pretty friggin' weird? They're pretty friggin' weird. It's the alien world in Half-Life. Oh, okay. I don't even remember what it looks like. I had a friend that played it, and I watched him play a lot of uh, Half-Life. I don't remember it. Very resourceful. Rabbit's confidence is not misplaced. He is no fool. I certainly hope he is not. Use the key to free my clan from the oppressive burden they carry. Any fight against the Queen's tyranny is a good fight. They've suffered... I'm sure I'm very sorry for them, sir. Really, I am. But what about me getting small? There's a school inside the fortress where you'll find certain items for creating a concoction that will make you small. What items exactly? Items. Items, girl. You'll know them when you see them. Uh, speaking of seeing things, we should avoid the card guards' notice. Hang on. Ah, damn it. Eventually, you must break through such walls. But for now, jump! Oh, goody. I didn't remember this being so wonky at times, but yeah, it is. Alright, so... <gasps> Ooh. I mean, I should just turn off the footprints because I don't even use them, really. Oh god, not this way. Hi, Phoenix. Like, using this as a nice tool, because you're guaranteed, like, the footprints I'm talking about. Because you're pretty much guaranteed to, like, always hit a safe point, but... It's it's also slower going. Refresh and forgot you can now get ads because it's not sub- oh. Welcome to Twitch. Um, I'm not gonna bother getting that. Go up. I remember the graphics and animations being better than this, which is funny, and it's just... It's... This is an older game. And it's... It definitely... Is noticeable. Move up! I can't get her to climb up. So she must not be able to go up there. It's my only guess. Let me check something. Yeah, it's in here. Oh, I remember this area. So I remember the whole, like... Stop it. 
there wasn't there there's doors at this point damn it Is that a banshee I don't even know what they're supposed to be called I remember some of the vision some of the best visuals being in this section it's also really wonky and it's meant to be really wonky. And I think this is where we learn about her, like, the demon blood or whatever the hell it's called. That thing. Time to raise some havoc. The dogs are loose. <laughs> now she's doomed. She's a one-hit kill right now. It's, it's a very wonky mechanic. I just, I I remember the Red Queen at the very end being a very difficult boss, potentially. Um, I think it took me a few tries to beat her. I do remember having the blunderbuss makes life a lot easier, especially against her. Um, beyond that, I don't really remember a whole lot. Um, how the fuck do I have to get up there again? Come here. There are cards up there. Oh, that's right. That sound of the door opening is in the sky. Here. It's the fortress of doors. If I remember, this was the cool one. look you can watch it like float around and it's just a normal sized door over when it's when you see it at first I see that fucking banshee hey there it is I need that piece. The one that's right there. That one. I have a feeling that comes over here. Something does. I think they change where they're located. That's how you do the platforming. Ugh. Fucking hell. Get over here.
the next piece. I need that tone. Looking in the instructions. Move, look is just mouse. Move forward, backward, strafe left, right. Jump, swim up, jump off vines, climb down vines, camera, look, tab. Walk, use items, enter. That is so fucking wonky. Can I change that? Probably not. It's an older game. I don't think you can rechange the key bindings. <sighs> you can. Study to me. You too. I, I I need to see if I can somehow untrap my mouse real quick because there we go. I wasn't seeing the last thing that was being said, the last line in my chat window. Yeah, those are definitely banshees. Is that what they're called? I mean they act like it, so probably. There you go. I hit you once. This one, this one, and this one. I'm gonna have to press the, the lever to reset it, I think. What is with this, this frame rate dip? Fucking weird. Probably not, but that's how they look and act. No, it's, you're probably right, they probably are. if we ever get a bestiary in the game or not or if they just tell them at some point or if it's just something that's behind the scenes that they decide to call them and then never really relayed to the player yeah Croquet mallet. Stop it. So 
thought it was something like that, but these acoustic styles and whatnot are always very strange. I don't even know if these exist technically in Alice in Wonderland. I think they were just for the game, weren't they? And technically, this is sort of, I think, I'm trying to remember if this is a mashup of Alice in Wonderland or Through the Looking Glass. I think it's more strongly related to Through the Looking Glass. It might be a mashup of the two. Most, most things are a mashup of the two. Oh, fucking hell. Lots of patience with this. Oh. realize where I am. I'm on top of the... Why are there three doors? Fuck. Could take to influence from later stories. I don't know. I didn't think there was any more later stories by Lewis Carroll. This... No, th this is direct... Re this is directly from Lewis Carroll. It doesn't take references from third parties outside of Lewis Carroll. Like, it's directly stated that all the influence came from the Lewis Carroll novels. I'm angry. Slightly angry. I think this takes me back up. Please be. Please, please, please. Okay, it does. Not too bad, then. I think we just have to figure out by going through each of the doors to figure out which one's correct. Either that or we just have to go through each of them in turn. That, that one was incorrect. Oh, no. Okay, so the one I just went through is right in front of me. Let me try this one. Okay, so it's the one on the right I want. Fucking hell. I think it's on the left. should read these books. I don't remember how hard they were to read. I don't think they were necessarily hard. I never really read them. I just watched movies and stuff. I'm aware of the stories and of the basic stories that they're based off of. Um, 
I mean, everyone tends to know the Disney interpretation. There were a lot of made-for-TV versions that were really good. Um, that follow the stories really well. Fucking hell. Come here. Damn it! No, stop it. No! Give me. I'm like, I don't want to use my cards. That live action Disney movie wasn't bad. I don't think I saw it. Which one are you talking about? The Tim Burton one? Like, the, the last one? Oh yeah, Even I remember this. School requires a real leap of logic. Yeah. So you need to jump in through there. I do remember that. And you basically have to wait until the school is tilted towards you. God damn it, Alice. I didn't like the Tim Burton one. It's It felt like it was trying to be too big within the small space of time that was given for it. I don't feel like it felt complete. It felt like it was lacking a lot. I liked the concepts and I liked some of the stuff that was done in it and I would have loved to have seen it more, but the movie was far too short for what he was trying to do. I feel like he was trying to create a world that was way too big for the amount of time he had available. I th honestly, I feel like the Tim Burton thing would have done better if it was a miniseries on TV. Like, to give it due justice, turn it into a four-hour, like, segment instead of a two-hour movie or whatever it was. This is where I get the croquet mallet. I do remember this. The croquet mallet's somewhere on this level. Remember the live-action Disney TV series of Alice with the rapper Tweedles and rollerblading? No. Because I never watched anything with that. The live-action one I saw, I would have to find it again, that I really, really liked, was Through the Looking Glass and actually had the... There's the, there's the cane. It had the Jabberwocky in it. And I think Alice wore an orange dress, I want to say? I want to say it was orange. And it was a blonde girl that played as Alice. Here's a riddle. When is a croquet mallet like a billy club? I tell you, whenever you want it to be. It had some really thin woman as the white queen, like literally the white queen for the chess set. And she had a whole song rendition called Jam Tomorrow Jam Yesterday, but never ever jam today. And that song is like stuck in my head from childhood. I love this croquet mallet. Because you hit like this, or you can shoot the croquet. And it hits harder than the other stuff. Jabberwocky was super, yeah, the Jabberwocky was super creepy. And it would appear to torment Alice. I do remember the, these guys. other doors. This one. Uh, that one's not opening properly. There's the one down below. There's also this one.
Bonk. Yeah, bonk. There's a bit more to do than you suggested, don't you think? No need for sarcasm. I admit my memory's not what it was. I'm here now. I'll try to amend its deficiencies. The library contains a recipe for the potion. Consult the book of bizarre things. Oh no! Run! <laughs> oh no! Run! This guy's missing the back of his his head. This is a lot of work to get small. Yeah, it's a theater. It doesn't make much sense. Um, I feel like this painting stands for something though. Screaming face there. The artwork and the overall design of this was decently done. There are certain visual features in it that are very, very smartly done, such as the door that flew through the space that we went through. I've always loved that imagery. Um, it doesn't look as good now. Could be the fact that I'm faking the card that was used to run this in the past. I think I have PG Voodoo 2 running for the video driver. Um, and DG Voodoo 2 works very, very well, especially with older games. There was, I think there was a few other fixes that were like fan based online. This this was a lot easier to get running than I thought it was gonna be, basically. Like, Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver has been a fucking nightmare to try and get to, to run. It's I can get it to run, but it doesn't want to work without mouse and keyboard, and it just does not function very well with mouse and keyboard in my opinion. Trying to find Disney's original inter interpretation of Through the Looking Glass, the really creepy one that scared kids. I don't know which one you're talking about. Are you talking about the one with the Jabberwocky? I don't know if that was Disney. He went this way. So the good thing about the cards is they home in on your target. <coughs> like the other two, what like this? So the croquet mallet hits hard, but it does not home in on your enemy. Stop it. I think there's another vial of demon blood in here. The one that came out in the '80s. It might be the one that I'm thinking of. The one that I was talking with earlier about like being a really good rendition. Just found the 1970s Alice film. Oh my God. I don't even know what the 1970s Alice film was. That looks like the book. A book. Look at the, the stars that are drawn up there. Really cool. Oh. Hello. This is not how stairs work. Skipping through this movie, there are some very disturbing masks. I could believe it. Hey, Cheshire. Steps to enlightenment brighten the way, but the steps are steep. Take them one at a time. <laughs> he just... <laughs> He's all like, oh, you need to get up there? I guess I'll push this over. Harry Potter from Lego version couldn't do as good a job. Hey, look, he's alive. Yeah. Eh. You're welcome. Come here. Beautiful. 
The creepy one you're thinking of is not really good. Oh, I don't know which one you're talking about then. Stop it. You fucking stop it. I'm getting used to her floatiness a little bit more. Like I said, you do get used to it over time. The game's decent. Um, the funny thing is my memory is a lot stronger on it than playing it is. Like, I remember it being better than what it's cut when it feels like right now. Um, I don't know why, because usually I don't, I, I, I t rarely tend to find nostalgia clouding my judgment, on, especially with regards to certain games. And the most I have with nostalgia is thinking there are certain games that would work well on a stream that I'd want to show people and finding out, oh no, they're actually not very good to sit down and watch. Like, <laughs> stop it. Fucking stop it. Get over here. Hello, sir. I'm, like, not even using any of my ammo. You thought it was 1985. So that's not... That's not Alice. And we want I I I made the uh I made the subs watch that with Isaac. <laughs> because Isaac had never seen it and I said, "No, no, 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 no. You need to see Return to Oz." Yeah. Like stop motion animations carrying scissors what the fuck? What? You yeah, know, Return to Oz is uh is absolutely fantastic. And Return to Oz is a good movie. What are you talking about, Axel? It's a really good movie. Like it scares kids, especially with uh Mumby and the uh and the uh Mountain King, but it's a really good movie. What is this film you're looking at? Apparently a 1970s version of Alice in Wonderland, according to what you said. Oh, they're all there. My wrist wrap keeps coming undone and it's driving me nuts. Oh. Want to see what sci-fi is talking about? I mean, I'm curious too. Stop it. This is, this is on medium difficulty, by the way. This game is not hard. <laughs> It's not proving hard at, at all right now. Maybe I just remember it being harder. Maybe I was just out of it when I played it. Oh no. Maybe I remember the platforming differently. Oh no. There's no lock, but it won't open. It's stuck. Treated like a Chinese box or a stubborn lid. A tap in the right spot might do the trick. Ukami, that might be the one that I was talking about. The 1985 Alice in Wonderland. It's very possible it's that one. It was a, um... You call that a tap? Fortunate I didn't suggest force. You might have pulverized it. If I remember, it was a made-for-TV miniseries. I think it's like four hours. I think it's three to four hours. I remember it being at least two shows worth. Go down this way. Go. Go. All right, fine. I don't think that was fair. Mushrooms, poppies, sugar, and spice, all those things are very nice. When combined, the proper mixture makes a getting small elixir. Hmm, I don't really like sweets. School's out. Let me make sure, save. I don't know if it's auto-saving at the beginning of every level, or what. Hmm. 
I don't think it works well against them. Is what it is. You wanna just stand there? Stay right there. It's fine. There you go. You're fine. His head's right there. Excuse you. You confirmed the freaky drab walk is 1985 through Alice to the Looking Glass? Yeah, I kind of figured. Especially with the time period, it would have had to have been around that time. At least based upon my memories and how young I was. Blade, the knife, um, while crappy up close, is really good when thrown. Um, oh, that no, that 1985 Alice one. I definitely want to see that again someday. It was. Yeah, I remember this overall story on it being really good. Second grade. Second grade, G R A Y D. Third grade. In case you forgot, if you didn't get your croquet mallet, it's in here. Here's a riddle. When is a croquet mallet like a billy club? I tell you, whenever you want it to be. I think when I first played this, I got this here. To be honest, you wish the spooky season never ended. You mean like with with uh with Halloween? Nah needs to end. You need to have a break from it, otherwise you can never properly enjoy it when it's around. Uh, actually, what was? What got what 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 what? what? Oh yeah, don't put the picture of the general tab. Beyond that, it will just get lost. And when people go to look for it, it's harder to find anyways. Um, I'm going under these. Hi. Are you just stuck there? There you go. Can't come into this room? Oh. Okay. Hey, mushrooms! Poppy seeds. What? What's with the echoes? I just don't know. I just don't know. Like, originally here, Evil Garrus, Gunkweed. Why? What am I doing in here? Treasure. Unplanted seeds dry out and die. Okay, what do you want? Fuck 
fucking hell. window that I need to go through somewhere? Second grade, third grade. of this realm we are all victims in waiting why that's not helpful oh my god um maybe down here you were haunted by what you saw in that check, Bill. It's your own damn fault. Ow. That's the dice. I remember that being another weapon. Ah, the diabolical dice. A word of caution, don't throw them when you're alone. The fiends lack loyalty, and their notion of nourishment is quite disturbing. God damn it. to redo all that again. Alright, let's just... It's really annoying. So the Banshees ended up blowing me off into oblivion. There is no uh, quick save point. You're just... Which, I mean, it's fine that there's no quick save points. I get that. Why are the Boojums such a pain in the ass? Because they are. Okay, mallet again. I don't really need to pick it up, but here's a the leaf treasure. Win is a croquet mallet. I think like you stop playing during this level. I tell you, as long as you like save it, it you're be. fine. Before I pick up the dice this time, I'll end up saving it. Nature has ordained that certain seeds require assistance to fulfill their destiny. Certain seeds require assistance to fulfill their destiny? Skunkweed? 
Bogaris. Oh. Hey, Kami. Yeah, because you, you see how this is, like, going nuts? I have a feeling we're able to get in there at some point. Ow. Alright. <sighs> School's out. Save. I don't know if this will actually save at this point. A word of caution, don't throw them when you're alone. The fiends lack loyalty, and their notion of nourishment is quite disturbing. Fucking hell! Don't throw them when you're alone. The fiends lack loyalty, and their notion of nourishment is quite disturbing. dealing with that again. Okay, so the what number is the dice? Seven. Throwing the dice is kind of pointless. It just it engages one of them with an imp. Sound of this game, this game is pretty darn good. Yeah, the sound design is pretty good. The music is very good. There's a lot of things that are really good about it. Um, second grade. How does third grade get you to the top anyways? little black spot. You weird. Third grade. Second grade. store rat poison and weed killer in sheds. Schools have laboratories for that purpose. 
Yeah, I don't remember what I'm supposed to be doing here, but let me check this. Um... Yeah, second grade is the second floor. Third grade is the third floor. I do get that. Tell yourself I've seen worse at Rutledge's. Prevarication in this instance may help. Treasure, where are you? Try to see what he has to say in a few different instances. Unplanted seeds dry out and die. Uh, anyone know what I'm supposed to do? Because I don't remember. I feel like it's something in here. Talking about planting a seed. Yeah, you would think it seems like that, but he says something different for each area that you're in. I don't know if he's referring to this room or not. Hmm. I mean, seeds. We're getting ingredients. We are getting ingredients for the potion, technically. I just don't know what we're doing. Nature has ordained that certain seeds require assistance to fulfill their destiny. Three. I have the cards, which are homing, but nothing here is to home. Yeah, I know he's referring to something. Yeah, just look it up. I don't mind looking it up. I've already played this game, like, from beginning to end in the past. It's one of those where I'm more like, I just want to move forward. I don't want to roll the dice. Because I'm just going to end up summoning something. What about you? Skunkweed. Did I get a mushroom in the gym? There's a gym? What gym? Wait, was this second grade? That's third. This is second. Um... I don't think I've picked up any ingredients yet, Sci-Fi. I can't go back. What about this one? I don't know if I've been through this one, actually. Hold on. I have not. Hello, sir. Hi. No, stop it. This is where I'm supposed to be going. Here's the gym. Yeah, it's because I didn't do this one first. I'm supposed to do, I'm guessing, first grade, second grade, third grade in order. And that will start it.
Why would I want to pick that up right now? The gymnasium should be safe. Guards never exercise, can't afford to lose the weight. I never cared for sports at school. I don't have to put on a pinny, do I? No, it wouldn't suit you. I've recalled one of the potion's ingredients. Mushrooms, lovely texture. What's that? Fucking kidding me. I would love to get the demon thing to use on them, but Oh, he's in second grade now. Is that what is that the mayor? I don't remember. I guess it is. Today we're trying to go to the mayor in the beginning. Do I even want to pick up this thing? I don't think I need it. I'm gonna leave it. That turns you into a demon. I don't need it. It just makes me super strong and there's no point for me right now. Mad Hatter. to the second grade. about to say you're lucky to have found me. Look, I found the last ingredient, sugared spice drops. Mr. Alligator. Whenever we meet up, seems I also find a bit more trouble. Seen any jumbo grow about? There's a bit in that flask on the sideboard. You see, we're set. Bring back some poppy blooms and we'll mix up the potion. All right. Wolver pushed me over. Not really, but I'll be right back. I'm gonna use the bathroom real quick. <sighs> I have a bug. A little body body. So I'm wondering if the children at the beginning of the section were blood bottomized or not at the beginning of the section. If they technically were part of the section. I don't know if they were lobotomized. They still had their brains, sort of. There. Sugared spice drops. Oh my god. Holy space out! Oh, oh. 
Happy belated birthday, both you and Isaac. I missed it due to my own. Thank you for the $50 donation. That was really sweet. Holy crap. Thank you. I feel like I'm not supposed to be in this room. He said it was the last ingredient. Why am I in here? You're a bit scared of me. <laughs> oh. Second grade. Okay, I'm gonna go to the third. Wait. Where the fuck am I going? He said it was the last ingredient. He needs poppies, Dilly? No, he doesn't. I'm barely pa I'm- I'm- okay, I have problems, alright? Poppies. Oh, that's a that's a popsicle. I remember being an exit in one of the levels being a window. I did pour the juice of the plant. I got distracted by the donation I did. Dead. It's fine. God damn it. Ow. Stop it. This game is not as hard as I remember it being. Maybe I played it on hard back in the day. Why would I have played it on hard? I never played games on hard. Except for The Witcher. It's only because The Witcher was easy when you knew how to play it. Hard gave at least some level of a challenge. Um. Keep it, yeah, keep yourself as safe as possible. Da da da. Where am I going now? in there. I don't know. This is where we began the level. Uh, gymnasium? No. Yeah, I had to pick the flower. I might have to go through the window up there. I vaguely remember needing to go through a window in one room at some point. I'm wondering if it's this one. You're okay, Mr. Alligator. I, I missed a lot of what you were saying. Seems like chat's got your back on that one, though. Um... Yeah, no, definitely, like, stick around here. Da 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 da. I can't just get back to the mayor. Where is back to the mayor supposed to be? Y'all don't understand. The mayor is wherever he wants to be. This the guy keeps shrinking and teleporting. Oh, there he is. Laboratory. This condenser can mix the potion. Doesn't look like it's good for much else, though. Now time to leave, but not as you came. Go by way of the observatory. This star's for your stellar performance. May open some doors for you. 
I got a gold star. I got a gold star. I got a gold star. <laughs> I got a gold star. Oh my goodness. Dumbasses. Back in this area again. Can I see back here? Nothing. Yeah, like, a remake of this game in this day and age would be interesting because you could make the world a little bit more open world because you are replaying certain areas. You could definitely make the levels a lot bigger, more open. I mean, they're never going to do it, obviously. I hear, I hear that noise. small for whatever you're doing. Yeah, I'm not quite sure why she wants to get small, but she wants to get small. Is the observatory this room? I think this is like the library, isn't it? give you the most back, but they also take the most away. You can have levels like the pond and such so that you jump into one of the pictures you saw. I don't remember. It's been too long. I, I played, like I said, I played this game back in 2000. I did beat it. I don't remember what the levels were. I, I think there is a pond or something at some point. I don't remember. I think this is the wrong way to be, though. The only reason I was thinking this is the observatory is because you can see the stars from here. But... I don't know. Let's keep this in mind. I don't necessarily think this is the right way, but it might be. We can come back. There were enemies, so... I mean, if other areas aren't open, then... It's probably where I need to go. Pentacles. Here. Here. They're just normal, like, little five-point stars. Okay, this is the way to go, then. I guess we're going up. What do you say about this? Only the foolish believe suffering is just wages for being different. Okay, Mallet doesn't hit as hard as, like, the purple knife from a distance.
Oh, observatory. Ah! his head why is that there this isn't a boss I know it's not a boss I do remember the bosses I believe it was Mad Hatter was one of them that uh what was it the Duchess or whatever with uh, the pepper mill she's one of them because the pepper mill is actually a weapon you get in this from what I remember oh she, you, you use the telescope scope to teleport I remember that This is not how you, this is, okay. She's all like, I need this to get small, really small. Then she jumps into a portal. Finds out she needs to be normal size. Screams, ah oh, fuck, as she slams into something and dies horribly. Oh look, the answer just sending boulders over the hill. Oh yeah, so this is the uh, I'm shrunk area. I am tiny. This here old, uh... Yeah, I remember the pepper mill being a good weapon. I, I use the croquet mallet a lot in this game, is what I remember. Falling rocks, beware! That's why we're just going save -oo. I think it's auto sa automatically saving at the beginning of every level. Just in case. Nice room. Rick6414, thank you for the follow. Why would the Mad Hatter be a boss? Because he is. So... He did play some of this level. Um, I don't know what they ended up doing with... Madness Returns. Um... The floatiness of that rock. But... This game is all basically Alice is in her own head. Wonderland doesn't really exist. She's messed up because she happened to witness her parents being burned to death in her own house because the kitty cat Dinah uh, knocked over their lamp. Oh, she's dead. It's fine. It's fine. So, for whatever reason or other, the Mad Hatter is a boss, I remember. Um... That Duchess with the Pepper Mills a boss. The Red Queen is basically... The Red Queen is Alice and Alice's guilt or something is what I remember. Or at least that's what she's supposed to be. Honestly, beyond those, I don't remember any other bosses. Maybe I just have to run backwards with that next one. Like back over to here. Was the Jabberwock a boss? Yes, I think the Jabberwocky is a boss. I think you're right. I mean, twist endings like those were good at the time because we didn't have games like that. We didn't have games, we didn't have stories all that much where it took um, something such as, like, Alice in Wonderland or Through the Looking Glass and turned it into, oh, it's it's just her dealing with stuff within her head. So it was really well done and it was kind of cool. These days, that trope feels really overused. Like, everyone just fucking uses it. Oh my god. So my mouse is kind of locked into the window, but it sometimes it's not, and right there it just hit, like, the top left corner. It was all like, oh my god, I'm hitting it right now. And now she's just sliding. Why is she sliding? I can't get her to go up. 
fucking god. Okay, I have the cards. Get over here, you stupid thing. Honestly, kind of need it. Kind of need them both. does feel a bit overused. It's too overused and it really bothers me because there's a lot of games where I wish they would embrace the supernatural in certain things. Tried playing a bit of Dragon Age Inquisition, not being able to mouse lock that game is so infuriating. Play it full screen. Or full screen, uh... Or windowed full screen or whatever it is. Borderless full screen. This feels a bit overused, especially in the horror genre. Yeah, and it bugs me. Um, what was it called? The one with Senua, the, 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 the Norse girl. Like, her thing where they're having a second one. I really liked that game, and then the ending ended up being, oh, well, she's just crazy, and I'm like, oh, goody. So look forward to the ending being she's crazy. I didn't think it was a good ending. I didn't like it. It really bothered me. There's not enough good Norse-based games that are based off of Norse mythology that does a really good job. That game was doing a really good job. Then they decided to stick it into her head. And I'm like, well, there goes the Norse mythology aspect. And then they're all like, we're going to make another game with her. Don't you want to play that? I'm like, no, I don't want to go on a trip with Crazy again. Now that I know that she's crazy, why do we want to go and follow Crazy? Like, Isaac and I both kept on making that statement. God damn it, game. It's giving me issues on, like, clicking outside the screen for some reason. I mean, there's a lot of really good stories, and there's a lot of really good games with a lot of good stories. Um, there's still some good horror-based games, I get. I think the horror genre does do a lot of, oh, it was all in their head way too much. Like, this person has issues, and they're just fighting their inner demons. I'm like, again? God damn it. God damn it. Remember that whole she's a little floaty? This area, I'm running into this weird physics mechanic where she's on a flat surface and it's treating it like she's sliding down a hill for some reason. All right, do all that all over again. The lack of follow through on the supernatural has been our mutual complaint about the dark anthologies. Too. Yeah. It's been our, like, I really like the Dark Anthology, sto the storytelling mechanic. I like the, I like the way it does it. I've always liked the type of game. I like the graphics. I like the gameplay itself. I like the characters. I like a lot of things about it. I don't like the overall storytelling. I will say that Man of Mead and I liked a lot more. Man of Mead and I thought was well done overall. As much as it would have been nice if there was something a little bit supernatural, I thought its overall storytelling gimmick of the gold being what it was, was actually really good little hope first of all i can't remember the names of the characters in little hope which is even said it's all like he likes the characters in little hope a lot and i'm like yeah i like them too but they don't they never stuck in my mind as much as the characters in man of Medan for some reason like i could never remember their names um that being said the the visuals and everything was freaking great the ending was a total letdown in our opinion like it was just us staring at it and just going Really? And it's the same writer, by the way. From what I... If I remember correctly. It's the same writer as Man of Medan, so which means the same writer has pulled the same gimmick twice now. Or at least something akin to the same gimmick, which I don't think is creative writing in that respect that says you have one note when it comes to telling a story, and this is it. Please show us something different. Um, I, I, yeah, I'm trying to get that because, once again, fell down here. 
Also, Big Panda 77782. Thank you for following. The thing is, I, I kind of want to play Little Hope again. And I keep on telling Isaac I want to play Little Hope again and just see some of the things you can do. But our biggest problem is knowing what the ending is. Neither one of us wants to. Like, what does it matter? And I think we already got the best ending on our first try. Get over here. Get over here. There you go. Fuck it. Okay. I'm hoping that the next game doesn't do the same thing. But the funny thing is, okay, so we didn't actually continue streaming it so to see the preview. I had to look it up afterwards. I re remembered afterwards. Oh wait, you're supposed to watch all the way through the credit sequence and like in the dark anthology series to see what the next game is. I looked it up afterwards. I am not all that interested in the setting. It's oh boy, desert war setting. Oh no, it hasn't been done like 50 million times. I know it's supposed to be a different game. I know it's supposed to be horror-based with a monster, but oh no. And I swear if it comes out with the exact same... Are you fucking kidding me? If it comes out with the same uh, type of story, it's gonna be... It's... It's, it's Middle East war setting, sci-fi. Which makes me go, oh boy, yet again. I don't have any problems with the setting, it's just, it's overused. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of, oh, we have to use, like, um, soldiers that are in a war. Let's do Middle East. I'm like, okay, I get the reason why, because it's comparable-ish to things that have happened relatively recently within history. But still, find a different setting. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Alright, let's go this way. See. No. Don't go that way. I think I have to go up river. Got you ten dollars right now that it will have the same twist. I'm hoping not. Because if it has the same twist, I'm probably no longer gonna buy their games until. I hear that there's a really good one. But the thing is, it's like a lot of people really like Little Hope, and I can't really compare people's, like... What the hell is that? Oh! Oh! The turtle... What the fuck is he called? What's all this, then? Did someone die? Have you lost your family? No, my shell! The Duchess stole it and tried to eat me for lunch. Nobility must be served, I suppose. <laughs> Stop that wailing, won't you? You're very cold-blooded for a mammal. I was almost soup. Mark Tragic, Charles, yes. I'm sure, but I'm a bit pressed for time. Have you seen a rabbit? Hmm. Twitchy nose, shifty eyes, constantly consults his pocket watch. Most peculiar beast. Well, he's very dear to me. I must find him. Caterpillar could help, I'm quite certain. He knows everything there is to know. And where does that smushy layabout hang his hooker these days? Since the troubles began, he's in hiding. I couldn't divulge the secret. I couldn't risk telling you... without something in return. Risk nothing, gain nothing. His whereabouts, then, for my shell. The Duchess won't part with it willingly. Then she must do it unwillingly. I'll teach her manners. You are brave. But I warn you, she treats everything as prey. What was that jump animation? Bye. Okay, so the only way down that is on that leaf. Obviously. And then that's a statue of Alice crying. I'm trying to see if there's anything hidden over here. Nope. Oh boy. I 
I don't remember this, so... Oh my god, it would not let... It's not recognizing me saving. There we go. My mouse is in a weird position outside of the game window for some reason. I don't know why it's outside the game window. Kidding me? She's dead. <laughs> or he burns a turkey. This is why I saved it. Like, no, fuck this. Until that leaf comes by. I'm saving it again. I like how it's taking a bit to recognize my save. Are you fucking kidding me? You're catching Sajibana. Oh my god, you are. The leaf continues moving when she's jumping, and she does, and and sh she doesn't. Hi, Jinzel's bird. Ah, oh, yes, I remember this. It's been a long time since I played this. I played, I played it back when it first released in 2000. Um, I forgot how. Oh, <laughs> he's just the baby. He just doesn't move. Meanwhile, she does. trying to get her out of the water and she wouldn't jump out in time. Apparently she just drowns instantly while she's under there. She can't even hold her breath. <sighs> Steps into water for two seconds and dies. Yeah, seriously. She does. All she does. Meanwhile, he's right there. I need to get rid of them. There's only one left, but I need to get rid of him. Because he'll come back. There he is. And he's just going to keep coming back. Shit. Here goes my purple blade. Into the distance. That actually, actually had a rifle, yeah. 
ants have rifles in this. There's it, soldier ants. I leave. She can't get out. I don't know why. I fucking hate the leaf animation to her. God damn it. Both of you, get over here. I reach out down. She just doesn't make some cool ants. Soldier ant. I like how they're dropping acorns. There you go. Can't get up there to get it. You know it'd be great having another leaf about now. There we go. God damn it! Yeah. Yeah. She was drowning just now. Because she was under a leaf. That's how things work. Two seconds underwater, drowning. She can't get out. The leaf hurts her. Come on. All right, we're stuck. Yeah, instant drowning. Goodbye. There were lots of flaws in this game with the movement controls. I never even noticed it. Overall, the game's pretty decent. It's just, oh my god. Oh. The, the leaf continues moving and she doesn't. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Thanks. I've always wanted to die right here. A pool of tears. Wow, what a really rude rose. I, I, my problem is the animation of the leaf to her. When she lands on the leaf, her movement does not sync up with the leaf, and the leaf will move under her feet and drop her into the water. That's my problem. Animation timings are just not good. And I'm trying to hit them using my mouse button. It's not recognizing it. I don't need to pick that up this time. Stop. 
These controls are not good. No, don't quit. It's my mouse. That's the problem. My mouse is no longer bound in the window and for some reason is now moving said window outside of the... Okay. Um... Okay, that's a little better. I mean, it's not changing how I'm moving with her like this, but... Dear lord. Lost my cursor lock? Yeah, I've lost the cursor lock. It's it's still operating in the window and kind of is, but it's like, it's... It has issues outside the window a little. idea why he didn't die to that. Oh, I need to get rid of these two. Get me out. Get her out. Fucking hell, are you kidding me? It, it's, it's, I'm losing the cursor lock. Lo no, Alice is very slidey. I'm very much aware. This game definitely al was always meant to be in, um, like, full screen, but that's also because at the time, the games when they came out were meant for full screen play, not windowed play. Um. Can I get this guy? I don't think I can get him. But, I can stop fucking around in this area and get like this. Hold on. They lost my mouse lock again, I just got it back. I like, I like how I had the mouse lock for so long, and even when I was testing out putting this game in, it wouldn't let me move my mouse outside of the screen. I start streaming it, and this is the point when it's all like, yeah, your mouse lock, gone, gone. You don't need this, it's gone. I'm like, what? <laughs> That's a little better. I'm gonna use my cards. Alice is very floaty in this game. She has a tendency to slide around and she's overly floaty. And the, the, the other problem is when you get stuck in this, when you get stuck underwater, she just remains stuck for, for so long. It's not a good amount of health to have for this point. Are you kidding me? mouse lock at that point and started moving the window screen. <sighs> Why am I losing the mouse lock all of a sudden? Wasn't having any problems until just now. Where the fuck is my leaf? I 
lost it again. Fucking hell. I mean, if it gets really bad, or much worse than this, I do have a fix. It's called saving the game, shutting it off, and turning it back on. And it should relock my mouse. Which is what we're doing. I can't, I, I, I need that mouse locked. Like, that's horrible. It's really bad without it. Because instead of attacking, the game is freezing because I'm clicking on the top of the bar, or I'm starting to move something, or I open up a menu, and it's like... Can I hide my freaking task bar? Yes. That should help. Because now the mouse is locked again. Alright. This has got to be the most frustrating section. I don't remember this section- No, I do remember this section being frustrating even back then. Probably not as frustrating as that I'm having it now, because when I played it back in the day, I didn't play in a windowed mode, so... I definitely didn't have a mouse look like a mouse lock issue at all. I played it full screen. I had, I had me one of them giant tubes for a monitor. Yeah, I want to. I want to get rid of these two because I have a feeling they're the ones that are following me around for a while. Floatiness kills us. What are the movement controls like in Madness Returns? Are they any better? I'm assuming they must be a little better. I know that the camera angle was an issue, at least in the beginning. I don't know if the, um, there were patches that later fixed that. But, God, her floatiness in this one is painful. God fucking damn it. even just her floatiness, it's where she chooses to jump. Like, she's not jumping right now, and I can't look up to target them. And they're just bombing me. Yeah, Madness Returns. Like, the movement. This is bad. This is really bad. It was fine until I started doing this whole section. Her other thing too is that she, uh, she doesn't jump the moment you tell her to jump. She kind of has like a little bit of a delay. One down. I'm just gonna stay on the leaf. As much as I wanted to take down the other one, I'm just staying here.
Hey, yeah, no, there's a jump delay in this one. It's minor, but that coupled with the floatiness does not make for good times. She slid off on her own. I can't get her to jump. So I had her hit the leaf, and because she hit off the edge, she slid slightly on her own. Which is the reason why I felt off of that. This section is incredibly frustrating, and I just got a delay right there. That's fine. I picked that up. That makes up for it, sort of. The cards use up too much energy. Yeah, I don't remember the game being this frustrating, and maybe it's because I was just a lot more patient at the time. I don't know. Fuck. I didn't pay attention. She's dead. I can't get her to jump out of that water. Once I'm in there, the only thing I can get her to do is hold on to the edge of the leaf to climb out. So, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to do the same thing I was doing previously and jump off to the side instead of going down that waterfall. The water controls are absolutely horrible. I wouldn't be surprised if someone had somehow modded this to be a little bit more, I don't know, to give her a little bit more weight, but at the same time, I don't know if someone would have. I think that her being floaty is part of what makes her always being in danger, because hitting her is supposed to cause her to fly away. Same reason as how she's supposed to be able to float on the currents just because of her skirt, which is a mechanic that run, you run into in this one as well. Save the graphic penalty a mod for how Alice could close but then again you weren't looking. That's an invisible wall. So just walk on to the leaf. I like how that hurts you. Even though technically I think it's just supposed to push you away. Sub. Oh no. Twenty two months, that was really sweet. She didn't grab the vine. She just didn't grab it. Ah. <sighs> 
at least I saved it here. We're further in. We don't have to redo that whole beginning part to get to this point. Which is one of our problems for a while. Is another leaf coming along? No? Ah, eh, we don't need another leaf. Why do we need another leaf? She's stuck in a permanent jump. There we go. jump off to the side. I told her to jump. She won't jump there. this area. <laughs> and nostalgia be damned, this game has some issues. <laughs> uh, okay. Really un it's not that it's unforgiving, it's the fact that she does not control very well. Her floatiness mixed with her movements versus the physics of the leaf uh, mixed with the way that she works within water makes this area unnecessarily extra complicatedly difficult. I think that was the last of it, though. I think. Hollow hideaway. So it, it does autosave. I'm fine with her for the most part with a lot of her stuff. She is a little floaty, yes. She could definitely use some work in that respect. I mean, not like they're going to, but obviously. Um, uh, what? My god. Um, but the, the physics, the way the physics engine works in this game, along with her movement, in comparison with the way the leafs are run in the water, makes that area unnec unnecessarily difficult. That area should not be that difficult. On top of that, there's a delay in the game with keyboard and mouse uh, presses. It's not all the time, but she definitely has a bit of a delay with certain um, things. Are you fucking kidding me?
Um, oh yeah, you can't go this way. You have to go this way. Yeah, they are. I don't trust those two. They're gonna come back. Yep. and get that. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Why are the mushrooms evil? Oh, okay. Six like, been telling me he doesn't want my other half of my sandwich. Now he's taking it. Oh, I just saw the time. Yeah, I've got, I'll end it in a second. You. I don't have it. Take half of what that that is. There's, there, there's all types of problems with this game that I wasn't aware of when I played it. We just witnessed me redoing a, an area over and over and over because of like her movement physics. She is so fucking floaty. Oh no, I hate floating. And she slides a little bit when she's done moving. No. So. There's a whole section where you have to go down a river because she shrunk. You have to go down a river on a leaf. Um, every time I, ju I fell off the leaf, I was trying to jump out. First of all, her mechanics while she's in the water, she either jumps fully out of the water or she barely jumps. Most of the time, she's barely jumping. There's, like, no rhyme or reason to it. I thought it was had to do with how much um, surface was under her. It just seems to be certain areas were harder to deal with than others. And then I kept on falling off the leaf because she'd jump and she'd land. And until she had fully recovered from her jump, she was moving at a different speed than the leaf. And the leaf would continue moving under her and drop her off. What? Yeah, I know. It's good. We've had it before. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ow. What is this whole tactic for like throwing, just chucking her over his shoulder like that? <laughs> I just don't understand. All right. What we will do is we will save it here. I do, I am enjoying re-exploring the game despite some of the frustrations. It's very interesting. You don't know why the roses are evil because everything is, per is, is just, perverted and messed up in her head right now because she's going through so many issues. Remember that the overall thing about the game isn't the fact that Alice is in Wonderland or Through the Looking Glass, it's the fact that she's dealing with the psychosis on the fact that her parents died because of Dinah the Cat knocking over the lamp and burning everything. None of this is actually real, it's all in her head. And that's cemented by the end of the game. I think... I've seen or heard that Madness Returns tries to retcon that and saying that that Wonderland exists. I don't. Um, it's well done either way, for the most part. The story is well done. It was well done for its time period. It was not something that was done often at the time. Um, but yeah. Um, let me find out who we can end up raiding. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you for being here today. It's been great to be able to share the time with you. Um... Isaac is going to be streaming tonight. I am not streaming no matter what he thinks because I need to start working on the turkey and Thanksgiving dinner and everything else. Um, this is going to be a very interesting week. I have no idea what we're doing on Thursday. I'll announce something when we get a chance. Um, what? He's going to do a hidden object game tonight because he needs some de-stressing times. Um, that will be in about 
an hour and a half. And I will see you guys tomorrow, bright and early. Yet again, we will be doing more of America Biggie's Alice. We will probably be doing Sims 2. And we will definitely be doing more Lego Harry Potter. I will see you then. And we are going to send you guys off lovingly to say hello to... You know what? Uh, why don't you guys go and say hi to Sinnoh? He's playing Dead by Daylight. Have a wonderful time. Thank you for coming. Goodbye.